Hey guys, this is Red, and today I'm here on this server named Diamond Fire, as you can see, and everyone already recognized me. But anyways, um, today I'm not going to do a gameplay as I usually do on Sundays. So, but anyways, what this server has special is that it allows you to create some mini games, some command block stuff, even some of my creations if you want, but without using any command blocks, without knowing anything about command blocks. So if you're new in the command block world and you don't know how to use them, it is too hard or you don't have time to learn, well, at least you can have fun in this server um, making mini games because it allows you to create them, as I said, without any command block knowledge. So if you go here in the hotbar and you right click the first item, you can get a plot. I have already got one. So let me instead use the... Um, you can create one, a new plot by right clicking on this item. But since I have already one, I want to go to my plots. So let's click here and let's go into code. Okay, right. So how does this server work? Well, um, you'll have some items that are like command blocks, let's say, but they're command blocks that have the commands already inside them. And all you have to do, you have to choose some options in order to make them work. So we have to start by using a player event. We have to place it down and it is exactly like a command block. If we right click this sign here, we can access a little menu. Uh, so what we can do, we can detect when a player joined a game, when he when it quits it, and we can detect for the many different and really cool stuff. For example, now let's uh, detect when a player joins a game. And oh yeah, I, have, I already have it here. Okay, so it all starts with a player event. You can place it down and it is exactly like a command block, but the cool stuff about it is that if you right click, uh, it is like a command block that has the commands already inside them. All you have to do, you have to use some logic and use these options to create mini games. So now let's say that we want to detect when a player joins a game. If you want, you can detect for different stuff. You can see, we can detect when a mob damages a player, when a player damages a mob or uh, all of this different stuff, but this time we want to detect when a player joins a game. So let's right click on this. Perfect, now uh, this is like a line of command blocks, you, you know, from my command block tutorials. And what you have to do, you have to continue this line uh, until the end of this plot. So we have some different blocks here in the inventory. We have a if player, which is basically a, um, which is basically a command block that detects if a player does something and then execute another command. It's like a conditional command block. I'm going to show this to you later. So um, what I wanted to show you first is the player action. So once a player is detected inside the game, what we want to do, we want to have a player action. Now we have placed it. What we get here is a sign and a chest on top of it. And as you can see here, we have different, um, as you can see here, we have different stuff. Oh, it also goes to page two. And what we want to do, once a player joins a game, we can do something. Let's say that um, let's uh, say that we wanna set an armor to the player. So we have selected this, and all we have to do, we have to choose what armor we want to give to the player. Let's go in the armor tab and look how simple this server makes the coding. So let's let's find some armor. I want to give to the player, for example, a full diamond armor. Let's drop these. Uh, let's drop these armor armor pieces in this chest and everything is done. The server does all the code for you. And now if we go using this command slash mode play, you see that we get teleported here and we have a full set of diamond armor. Now, if you want to go back into coding mode, all you have to do, you have to do code, uh, mode code. Um, <laughs> guys, uh, I think that I don't know why it happens is that it doesn't load the chunks, so I have to manually reset them. Now, let's say that we want to have another player action. So we have we want to give to the player a really nice armor, but also we want to do some other stuff. So let's place another play player action event. When we join a game, we spawn in this region here. But what I want to do now, let's say that I want to spawn exactly in this block. So how do we do that? We add another player action and then we have to find give items it's teleport, okay? It should be teleport. It is set to teleport. Now to specify the, co the coordinates where we want to teleport the player, we have to go here in this variable items me menu. So here we have some different variable that are going to work together with some player actions or game actions. Now, since we have selected teleport, we wanna add a, um, where is it? A location. So we take the location item and look how simple it is. It says, as you can see here, wrote in light gray, it says that stand at the location you want and right click. So it tells you all you have to do. So let's go in this position. Um, let's go a block upwards. Come on guys, don't push me. 
and right click this item. You can see now in, vi in violet the coordinates. Let's drop this item in here. If we go back in game, in mode, play, boom, you see that it teleported us. Oh god, I have to go at it again. So, uh, mode, code, okay, y equals 49. Let's drop this item here inside and see if it works. So, mode, play, and we still get teleported inside. The next event that uh, I want to show you guys is the game action. So while the player action does something to the player, the game action does something to the game area. So let's place the block down, let's again click, right click on the sign and choose one option. So we can spawn mobs, spawn items, uh, wait, let the players wait, create explosion, launch fireworks, we can do some pretty interesting stuff. And uh, let's say that we want to spawn a mob. Uh, we, we, you can see that we have some specifications wrote in gray. We can choose the mob and the location of it. So let's spawn, for example, let's spawn a skeleton. Why not? Let's spawn a skeleton. Boom. Look how simple it is. If we want to summon a skeleton, all we have to do, we have to drop a skeleton egg in the chest. And the game does everything for us. Okay, so now if we go here again, it says that we can specify the location. So let's go in the variable items and let's choose a location. Let's let's say that we want to summon the skeleton right here. Right click, drop it in the chest and boom, come on. Drop it in the chest and boom, we have... Now if we go in mode, play, boom, a skeleton should appear here. Yeah, we got one. Okay, let's go back in mode dev or mode code. Now let's add some more stuff to this skeleton. We can specify the health of it and the name of it. So let's go again in the variables. We want to, ch to choose a number and also a text. Now to specify the health of that skeleton, we have to hold this item in our hand and then write in the chat a value. For example, let's say that we want to give it a 100 half hearts uh, and then drop this in here. Then text, again, to use this item, you have to write something in the chat. Let's call it um, <laughs> Skelly. Boom. And drop this here. Now, if you go again in mode play, the skeleton yeah, is named Skelly. And it also has a lot of health. So it is um, a lot more difficult to kill. Okay, now let's uh, say that we want to give to this skeleton uh, some armor. So items, gear, bottom left to right. Okay, so we have to place the items from the bottom left to the right of the chest. This is really simple. So let's take, for example... Okay, guys, I finally did it. So um, I'm going to show you how you have to set this properly. Let's go back in mode code. Let me reload the chunks. I don't know why this is happening. I think that this is a problem with my computer. So it's probably uh, something that happens only to me. But anyways, um, this is how it works. The first slot is for the right hand. Then the second slot is for the head. Then you have the body, then you have the legs, the feet, and then you have the second hand. This is how it works. And as you can see here, we have finally a working skeleton. <laughs> okay, guys, so the last game event that I want to show you today is the if player event. So let's create another line of command blocks because this time we don't want to detect when a player joins the game, but we want to detect when a player is, uh, for example, is left clicking. So let's choose this. And what we want to do, we want to add the if player event let's right click it and now we want to detect when the player is for example um, holding an item so we are detecting when a player is left click and then if he is left clicking with a for example with a bow in his hand so let's take the bow drop it in the chest and then as i mentioned it before this uh, game event works exactly like conditional command blocks. So they are going to execute a command only if a requirement is met. So for example now the requirements are um, the player needs to left click and he also needs to hold a special item which in this case is a bow in order to finally execute a player action or a game action. I want to execute a player action because we have here some um, a, the really cool launch projectile game event. So this is something really, 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 and I say again, really difficult to reproduce with command blocks because you'll have to do ray casting. You'll have to use thousands of command blocks to do something really precise like the server is doing. So whenever the player is uh, left clicking, holding a bow, this, this, let's call it command. This command here is going to finally launch a projectile. And let's um, specify that we want to have an arrow. Let's say, for example, a spectral arrow. Why not? Let's drop into the chest. And now if I go in mode play, 
we are finally able to yeah as you can see here now if i left click while holding the bow i can shoot arrows this is the coolest thing ever and these are also um spectral arrows so you can highlight players <laughs> this is really cool so imagine the possibilities that you have how many mini games you can easily create in this server and it is all really 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 simple to do all it requires is just a bit of logic and if you do a bit of practice you'll get used to it and maybe you'll be able to start learning how to use real command blocks so this is a really good way to start so this is a really good way to start learning something about about how minecraft commands work actually because you don't actually need to know the command blocks you don't need to know how to write them and um this is and this is useful to train your mind and see and see the logic behind coding so guys that was it about this video uh, i hope that you guys liked it if you did so please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new if you want you can come on the server take a look maybe maybe start doing and creating some mini games uh, or at least do some practice it is really cool as you saw it is really easy simple and really quick to create something in just uh, in just a matter of minutes in like half an hour if you know all the options you could create a mini game so yeah you'll find the ip either in the video description or on the screen right now the server is named diamond fire and i want to thank the owner for let, let me i want to thank the owner for sending me that email and letting me know about the server it is a really really cool server uh, i guess that it is all based on plugins and yeah you can do pretty interesting stuff without knowing anything about coin blocks and maybe you can also start to learn and uh, you at least you can start to understand how the logic behind co minecraft command blocks work and behind coding works so guys um yeah i want to thank you all for watching this video until the end and i see you all guys in my next video see you bye if you guys enjoyed this video i'll make sure to or i don't know maybe make some more stuff on this server make maybe make a mini game or something a proper mini game and uh yeah so let me guys know in the comments down below